Hi, I'm Mark Mishka, and this is how to read a chemical label. All chemical labels must have label requirements as defined by the hazardous communication standard. They must be on the outside of the package and be legible. The chemical label provides a lot of important information to anybody who handles, stores, uses, or even transports the chemicals. The only bad thing about it, it is limited by design. You can find a lot of your information on here, but you will not find all of it. This is where you have to go over to the SDS, known as the safety data sheet. The hazardous communication standard requires that chemical manufacturers, importers, and distributors ensure that each container of hazardous chemicals leaving their workplace is labeled, tagged, or marked with the following information. Product identifier, signal word, hazard statements, precautionary statements, and pictograms, and name, address, and telephone number of the chemical manufacturer, importer, or other responsible party. For today's video, we will be showing the globally harmonized system of classification and labeling of chemicals, also known as GHS. GHS is the internationally agreed upon standard managed by the United Nations. It replaces all other hazardous material classification and labeling schemes previously used around the world. The product identifier can be typically found on the front of a package or product. It usually states the name, code number, or batch number. This allows the chemicals to be confidentially identified. A signal word is used to notify the severity of a hazard. There are only two words that may take this place on a label, danger or warning. Only one word will appear on each label to, to ensure the severity of the chemical is clearly communicated. Hazard statements describe the degree and danger of potential symptoms should there be direct contact with the chemical. There will likely be multiple statements per label. It is a requirement that the statements stay consistent with each classification category. Precautionary statements are presented as a short paragraph of instructions on how workers and users should minimize exposure to reduce the risk of harm from the chemical inside the container. There are four different types of precautionary statements that might show up on these labels. The prevention statement instructs the user on how to minimize exposure. The response statement describes the procedure should you be exposed to the chemical. The storage statement describes the storage requirements for the chemical in detail. The disposal statement describes how the chemical should be disposed of properly. Supplier information includes address and phone number of the chemical manufacturer, supplier, or importer in which you get the chemical from. This gives the user full disclosure of where the chemical came from in case of a problem or emergency. Pictograms are comprised of a hazard symbol with a red border to visually illustrate specific hazards of the chemical, making this a universally readable label. There are various pictograms that can be included on the label, and depending on the chemical, a single label can contain more than one. Let's take a look at each pictogram. Exclamation point. Campfire. Bottle of Grey Goose. Alderon. The Star Man, Super Saiyan, Stinky Stinky, Yar Pirates, The Wasteland. So seriously, folks, let's take a look at what these nine pictograms actually are. Starting off with Exploding Bomb for explosions or reactivity hazards, Flame for fire hazards, Flame Over Circle for oxidizing hazards, Gas Cylinder for gases under pressure. Corrosion for corrosive damage to metals as well as skin and eyes. You have the skull and crossbones, which cause, causes death as well as um, toxicity with short exposure. You got health hazards, which may cause suspected serious health effects, exclamation mark, which uh, may cause serious health effects or damage to the ozone layer. And then we have, last but not least, the environment, which is an optional pictogram, but it may cause damage to the aquatic environment, which everybody should be aware of. Thank you for joining us today, guys, and the how to read a chemical label. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like this one, there's going to be more coming out on the HRP YouTube channel. Stay connected.
comment, like, subscribe. Thank you.